Today I am here to do like kind of a get ready with me kind of video. Um, a lot of you guys have been saying y'all miss the videos where I like get ready and talk. So yeah, but I'm gonna be doing. I wanted to do a TikTok video, so I'm kind of gonna try to do both. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. I heard TikTok is getting banned soon, but if they don't get banned by the time you see this video, follow me at the goods with three O's if you already have the app okay so yeah i already did my brows and i will leave the information for these ponytails i got these from sam's beauty for literally like three or four dollars and they actually look really super duper cute i got these clips i believe it's from the blue collection on instagram i'll leave that down below and the onesie will be tagged on instagram check my instagram for all like details on everything so yeah, for my eyebrows, I used the Ulta Beauty Brow Kit. It came in some makeup kit that I bought. I'm still getting used to making like makeup TikToks, so do not laugh at me because I'd be like doing so many retakes, it's not even funny. Hopefully I could do this and do my TikTok at the same time, so. Okay, so I'm going to use my Glamouflage by Hard Candy Concealer. But yeah, so I've been getting into using TikTok more. I was so against using TikToks considering the fact that I thought it was just those dumb dances. Like, I thought you could only do those. Like, I didn't think you could only do, but I thought people mostly did those dances over there on TikTok. And I was like, really not here for it. So... I hadn't gave TikTok a chance, but now that I know you could do like makeup and stuff, I don't know where I've been at, but now I know you could post like whatever you want on there. Of course, like I posted some like twerking videos on there. They kicked, kicked. They took me off, but most of the things I posted on there, they haven't cared about, so. But yeah, the very first like TikTok I did on there was me doing makeup and then of course, they took the sound away because it was like that unreleased Nicki song. I don't know if y'all heard of that, but it was like, you ain't fuck me, you fuck the old body. You ain't fuck Nicki, you fuck my cold body. It was that song and I guess they took the sound off. So then it took my TikTok away. Like the TikTok is there, but the music ain't there. So it just looked like I'm just doing a whole bunch of stuff with no sound in the background. It looks stupid. But yeah, if y'all got TikToks, leave comments because I need some more people to follow. But yeah, so I recently recorded like my um, assumptions video. And so yesterday was just a really funny day for me. Um, somebody brought Lipstick Alley to my attention and how they were just like dragging me for filth over there, which... Of course, I wasn't aware of, like, I know some people that are popular, they look themselves up, but that's just not my thing. Like, I just don't think to be, like, Googling myself and looking myself up on platforms. Like, that's not what I do. I usually just post my stuff and go about my business. Um, so, yeah, I filmed an assumptions video and basically addressed that stuff. Check that video out, and then I'm planning to do... A whole separate video for Lipstick Alley because honestly and truthfully, them hoes got me fucked up on there. Yesterday, like, I was a little irritated, but today it's, like, more funny. Like, y'all know, like, my moods go so fast. So, like, if I'm irritated about something, I can only be irritated about that for, like, oh, so long. And then I just don't care no more. That's my toxic trait is I just don't care. Just stay tuned for it. I think it's going to be pretty fucking funny. If you are one of the Lipstick Alley trolls, you probably already know, like, what they be saying about me on there. Or y'all might be one of the people writing the shit. So, yeah. If y'all are on my Instagram, y'all know that I call my Instagram people my cousins, right? So, I get on live and do my makeup all the time or whatever. So, I've been using some different streaming platforms. I will leave them in the description box. 
One of them is named Hago and one of them is named Bigo. So I'm partnered with these streaming platforms to, um, I'm partnered with them to go live. So I basically get paid to go live as opposed to doing it on Instagram when going live on Instagram is like, it doesn't really work that good for me. Like it doesn't really send out notifications. If, especially if I'm shadow banned, which I'm always shadow banned. Um, it doesn't let me play music. It, like they be kicking me off and everything. So uh, I went on Instagram live yesterday after talking with my cousins and they were like, we were like, oh, like we're gonna troll. So like I got on Instagram live and I was trolling. <laughs> Because for some odd reason, and I mentioned this in the other video, like for some odd reason, um, it's like this big rumor, which this is a rumor out in Vegas too, by the way, like that I do coke and stuff. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get on um, Instagram Live and really act like a smoker. Like, uh, I'm gonna really act like a druggie, like seriously, cause it's such a big thing that like, I'll have like these abuse issues. <laughs> and like, I'm laughing because that shit is funny. Like, I'm sorry. I, I can't act like that shit is not funny to me. It is. Especially because it's like one of those situations where it's like, you know, when people be saying shit, but it's like, you know what the fuck you be doing and not doing. It's like that. It's like, okay, y'all. Like, okay, yeah, I do drugs. Like, let me show you a druggie. Like, let me show y'all what that look like. So I did. <laughs> if you, and it's so funny to me because more people tuned into that live, they have been tuning into my regular lives. Like, it was like, almost triple the people like, it was almost like triple the amount of people that be in my regular everyday lives but they tuned in to like see some mess to see me have like a nervous breakdown or something that just goes to show you how people want to see like mess like people want to see bullshit as much as people say they don't like drama and they don't care for drama yes they fucking do like i know you fucking right i'm really trying to like do this <laughs> both at one time so yeah i've been wearing stick foundation because this matches my body right now and my other foundations are light plus i've been like mostly doing filming and recording and stuff so i just need my um i just need my stuff to look good like just for the camera it really doesn't need to last or anything like that i feel like i like this foundation at one point but now i feel like it gets all oily fast like I literally just be I just be in the house and this be getting like oily and stuff it's just crazy I have been so i started like a little group chat with like my people that i'm really cool with on instagram um like i call them like my cousins and babies like i said and um uh, so they've been like kind of giving me a good idea of videos and stuff that they want to see and like giving me their feedback about stuff so i'm probably just gonna leave them like they're kind of like my focus group like my lab rats or whatever and they be watching what I be doing, so, and they're not, like, trolls or, like, weird-ass people, so, um, they've been giving me, like, good ideas on stuff to do, telling me what kind of story times to tell, which I did record a story time, I just haven't uploaded it yet. It's actually in, like, one of these kind of onesies, too. So, I'm gonna upload that. Let me know if you guys do still want to see story times, actually, because it's been a while since I uploaded one. These earrings. But yeah, oh yeah, too. So um, people were asking me why I've been doing my contour before my highlight. And although like I'm a little bit broken out right now, usually uh, I don't really have like blemishes and stuff on my face. So I don't have a reason to put any, con I don't have a reason to like layer. Like, so basically it's no point in me putting my foundation underneath my contour. There's like literally no point in doing that. So I just haven't been doing it. That's really it. And I learned that from Taylor Mae Jane. That's how she does it. And yeah, when I do it, it comes out really well. All you gotta do is just make sure that you're blending everything out. Um, blending is key. Like just don't have any harsh lines there. I know makeup is like a work in progress though. Like y'all know I'm always working on makeup, I'm trying to do different stuff. Oh, 
People were asking me for an updated foundation routine. So this is how I always do like my foundation. I'm not really doing the most on my makeup right now, but. How many licks does it take? Two. <laughs> okay, it actually doesn't look like bad. I'm thinking I'm over here like looking stupid, but it's okay. I'm not looking that stupid. But yeah, um, besides that, everything has been regular. I hope everybody is staying safe. Like, Corona is real and it's still here and it's still going on. So, hopefully everybody is doing good with that. Um, Y'all know I always have a drink. And today I have water. This is what I have been drinking. So, yeah. Just make sure you guys stay healthy. Seriously, like... Definitely take your health serious. I know some people are like not taking the whole coronavirus thing serious, but I I don't know. I personally think it's like a real thing and I don't really like want to play around with it. Uh, in, in other places, I know other places are like open. It's like kind of not even a thing. Like y'all don't, y'all can go and do things and stuff. A lot of stuff is closed out here. They've been like being real serious about it. Our clubs and stuff are closed. Um... Our clubs are closed. There's some day clubs open. Most of the places they just let you, they only let you do it with a reservation. So you have to have like a big party and a table. And you have to have like all the people there at one time. A lot of people have been asking me like what there is to do during Corona. And honestly, I really don't know. I haven't been going out. So I really don't know what to tell you guys like. People always look to me for like tour guide and popping stuff and what's going on. But honestly, I just, I haven't been in the loop to be honest with you guys. Um, Halloween is coming up. That's like my favorite holiday. I'm really sad. I was hoping that it wouldn't go this far all the way out to Halloween. But it's seeming like Halloween is canceled. And people are like, no, nah, Halloween ain't canceled. Halloween ain't canceled. But the most people been doing is like, house parties airbnb parties like it's not gonna be like the other years it's not gonna be like how it usually is because the clubs and everything is closed like actual venues are closed so people are having to like take it upon themselves and throw their own parties i do feel like the longer that people like travel and move around the longer that this is going to be going on. So I would encourage people to just like stay home so that we could get things back to normal again. Like, that's just what I think. Y'all going to be turning up for Halloween. I might just be like on live or something. Or I think I want to try to do Halloween stuff. So I ordered one Halloween costume. And I'm trying to figure out, should I do, like, some Halloween tutorials or what? Like, let me know. How Are y'all feeling Halloween tutorials or are we just canceling the whole thing? Because we can't, like, really do it how we want to do it. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, Mind you, I've been trying to like learn how to shave my face and I shaved my face and like broke the fuck out because I don't know how to shave because like I'm not a young man. I got that all in my mouth <laughs> trying to be cute for the video, but it's okay because it tastes like apple juice actually this is the fresh squeeze facial spray from glam Bob cosmetics i love these it's actually vegan i i don't know i mean i wouldn't say drink it but like it gives me like a like a uh like an apple taste boom 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 Okay, this is the Destination Beauty XOXO Loose Powder Highlighter. These remind me of Artiste, Artiste Couture. Y'all remember those? I, they're not that old. Oh yeah, so if you guys don't know already, I made a song. I'm a rapper now. 
Um, so basically like some back, some like background, I don't know what to call it. Some. So basically the reason why I decided to make a song is not necessarily because I think like I'm a rapper. I mean, I rapped in the song, so it's like, you know, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, but it's basically because like, I like music, I'm into music. Uh, a lot of people be telling me like, oh yeah, you should make songs like even when people just hear me lip singing other people's songs are like now nah, you should make a song like that seems like it would be up your alley to do and i've been saying i want to try it for a while just because um just because i feel like like as far as like in vegas first of all there's not really no disrespect to anybody that makes music, but, like, nobody lit or really knows anybody here that, like, makes music. Like, just quite frankly, um, there's, like, if you think of, like, music from Las Vegas, there is, like, Dizzy Wright, if you know him, he makes music, he's from Vegas. And then, like, Neo went to school out here, I think he might be from here. But like Neo, like nobody thinks of Vegas and Neo. Like nobody thinks of that. So I was thinking like, okay, it would just be cool. Like people know I live here in Vegas. I represent Vegas. So if it's something I could become good at, I feel like that would be cool. One. Two, I wanted to make like visuals. I feel like I like making visuals. I like making videos. That's what I'm doing here. So, and then I'm in other people's music videos. So like I could just put that toward my own song. Um, and yeah, like that's the main reason why, um, I haven't like been rapping, like this is something like very new. Um, but I think I did a good job for like my very first song, my very first time recording a song ever. Like this is not something that I've been practicing or anything like that, but I definitely want to keep going and like get better at it. I feel like it's something I could be cool at and just like add on to my resume. Like y'all know I'd be doing anything. Like I try a whole bunch of stuff. Like I've been doing like my twerk videos and like trying to teach y'all how to twerk. I still want to do classes with that, but it's like Corona kind of started and kind of like messed that up. <laughs> um, I think this is my empty one. Corona kind of like killed it for doing the twerk video. I mean, for doing the twerk classes. But I still want to do that. Um, you know, I do hair and makeup, of course. Like hosting, like doing parties and stuff. So I'm really down to like try whatever. If, I, if it kind of goes along with something that I'm already doing. So, I mean, I've already been doing videos. I've been in... I have been doing music videos since I was 18 years old. That was when I did my first music video. Which, um, y'all know, is like on my channel or whatever. Um, but yeah, like that's the only reason why I decided I want to start music. I'm just trying to get into like new stuff. I I like to add things to my to my list. So like I really want to be a jack of all trades. What is it? A Jill of all trades, whatever. Um, so I want to be able to do as many things as I can. Like some people don't know, like I know how to sew. Like when I went to when I was in high school, it was for fashion design. So it's like sewing like I even want to get back into that I got a new sewing machine so I can um you know try to get back into like making pieces even if I'm just making pieces for myself like um I just like learning new skills and like putting them to work and kind of like bringing everything together so of course doing music that's going to bring me a whole new kind of content that I could put out on my channel um and you know i know some people are gonna like it some people don't not everybody likes my taste in music my taste in music is like very specific so you know i do like i like west coast music i like west coast like ratchet kind of music that's just like my style and what i like to listen to so that's the kind of music i'm gonna make so you know some people they like the music that i listen to they like the music that i make some people they don't like it um, which is totally fine. I get every, I get that completely. So, and having like, it's not really my goal to have everybody like my music. Um, I make it cause I like it. It's not like music is paying me, you know, it's just something extra that I wanted to add. 
these lashes are so bomb i'm going to definitely have to get some more these lashes are from underscore sugar baby beauty with an i for beauty um on instagram i'll try to leave the link down below but they'll be tagged on my page as well and they are called punani fairy these are bomb um, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna try to leave everything linked that I have on because I know I got like I got a lot going on I got all my accessories and stuff oh shoot I almost forgot about my TikTok I'm over here talking we are going to do this is the Morphe Sweet Tea liner and I overline my lips Speaking of, I hope I can get my lips done again soon. I really want some extra lips. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Why does my, my wing look so awkward like I look constipated okay let's not look constipated anyways anyways okay thank you guys so much for watching this um it was kind of all over the place I really just want to like kind of chit chat with you guys get back in the groove of doing like these chit chat get ready with me's um follow me on tiktok if you guys want to see how the tiktok came out um i think it came out pretty good period um and yeah stream wtfgo if you guys like the song it is on my channel the whole youtube video my instagram my twitter is d goods with three o's my snapchat they deleted my old snapchat my new snapchat is diamond goods with three o's so make sure you guys follow that way and yeah, that's basically it. Look out for all my new videos. If you don't have your notifications on, I would suggest turning them on because it's been like real crazy. If you don't follow me on like my other social media and you don't have your notifications on here, you probably don't see like most of the videos that I upload. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.